I don't need to correct nothing. My color looks real good. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on color correction in Power Director 16. Let me know in the comment section below what tools you use for color correction in your videos. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's change some colors, people. I know you've all heard that phrase. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So I'm going to show you three different ways to do color correction. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways, a bunch of different tools and everybody uses different things. So keep that in mind as I go through and show you some of my workflow for color correction. So I do it different ways based on what my needs are, based on how I'm feeling that day, you know, and let me go through each way that I do color correction. So on this first clip, I'm going to left click on it to activate it. And then I'm going to go to fix enhance. And I'm going to do color correction right inside of power director 16. First thing I'm going to do is go to white balance and I'm going to check white balance. And then I want to go to white calibration. And I'm going to move my playhead to a position where I have something white on the scene. Now, what I'm holding on this part of the scene is a 18% gray card. One side of it is gray and that's for um, exposure. And the other side of it is white for white balance. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but if you have an 18% gray card, you can. Or if there's something white in the scene, you can do this as well. If you are interested in getting a 18% gray card, I will leave a link to where you can get it on Amazon in the video description. And that is an affiliate link. It will give me a little kickback if you use it. So if you want a gray card, check it out. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the calibrate button, which is the eyedropper. And it brings up the screen and basically it says, here's the original and here's what it's going to look like calibrated. Use the eyedropper and you select a portion that is as close to white as possible. And this is white. And this is a selected color. So I know that this is white. So I'm going to click on this. And you can see that there's a difference in the different clips now. So this one's closer to white than this one was. So I'm good to go with that. I'm going to click on OK. Now, I still don't think that it calibrated as well as it should have. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the color temperature down a bit to make it a bit cooler, closer to blue. So I'm good with this part now. So what I want to do next is fix my exposure, my highlights, shadows, things like that. So I'm going to go here to color adjustment. Now here I'm going to make a few changes for brightness. I'm going to bring this up a bit and saturation. I need to add more color to this because the clip is flat and I want it to bring more color out in it. And for highlight healing, I'm going to move that up here. And then for shadows, let's go ahead and move that up. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at this clip here compared to the second clip, which still has not been color corrected. 
huge difference. You can see that this clip is a lot flatter. It's an actual uh, C log profile. And this one now has brightness. The exposure is right. The white balance is right. There's more color. Looks a lot better. So that's one way to do color correction right inside of Power Director. So now I'm going to show you how to do some color correction using Color Director. So let's go to this clip here. I'm going to left click on it to activate it. I'm going to go to Fix Enhance. And this time I'm going to click on Color Director. Okay, so I'm going to go to white balance and I'm going to select the eyedropper tool. And once again, I'm going to click on something that's close to white to, that I can get. And that'll work there. I'll also bring my temperature down here a bit. And I'm going to move the tint here a little bit, and that looks a lot better. Then I'm going to go down to the tone section, and I'm going to bring my exposure up a bit. And under brightest, I'm going to bring the, that up. And the midtones, I want to bring those up as well. Get some more... Bring up those midtones a little bit. Then I want to bring the darkness down here so that anything that's black, I want to bring it down a little bit. And now I want to bring some color back in. So for saturation under tinge, I want to bring that up to so give me a little bit more color. And I think that looks really good. So I'm going to click on back. Now let's compare this clip, which I just did the color director on to the last clip. And you see a big difference. And let's go ahead and compare it to the first clip as well. See how good I did at getting them close to one another. I did pretty good. Sure, I know what I'm looking for when I do my color correction. Really close. I like the shadows were a little bit darker in the first clip, but besides that, pretty good job. All right, now just keep in mind, once again, like I said, I, I do a pretty good job of getting where I want. It's really about getting it to where you want. You want to try to get the color correct. That's why I call it color correction. But your site and my site might be a little bit different. You might like it a little bit more contrast or whatever in your shot. And it also depends on what mood you're trying to create. So once you get past the color correction and you start grading it to change the color and change the mood, then it really depends on what you're trying to do at that point. So let's talk about the last way to do color correction. And this one will also be done using color director. So I'm going to click on this clip, make sure I'm at fix enhance and I'm going to go back to color director. So this time I'm just going to use the color curves to change the highlights and the shadows. And usually there's a lot more that you need to do to get this correct, but I'm just going to show you that this can be used too to kind of give you a quicker way to do color correction. So I'm going to bring my highlights down and the shadows up here and I think that's pretty good right there and then you can add other things like saturation and other things to it 
Uh, you can change the color temperature. You could do all the other things that I did or some of the other things, but this is just a quick way to kind of get your highlights and your shadows where you need them to be. I think that's pretty good. So then you can click on back. And that's a quick and dirty color correction there. Looks a lot different than the first clip that I brought in. Let me bring back in this first clip again. So you can see the difference. There's the original. And there's the one with the color curves. So that's it, people. Color correction in Power Director 16 and Color Director. All right, Power Director peeps, that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Zach's Wildlife. Zach's Wildlife makes fishing and how-to videos on his YouTube channel. So, if you're into fishing or want to learn how to do some interesting stuff, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Zach's Wildlife did, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you got any tutorial requests that you want us to do, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, or you just want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.